real value of time plus sigma is not it is real value of time plus sigma and the it is and the spectrum actually it is it is and you will see that this is the this is the positive part of the spectrum this is the negative part of the spectrum and if you check carefully that this is the magnitude spectra this these are the Uh, this is the magnitude spectra. This, this this one magnitude spectrum is a even function, and the phase spectra that means this dotted dotted line that is the odd function. Okay, so now um, do you understand that why odd line is a uh, this? Please remember this this one because. After that, actually it is like this. So that's why odd, odd function should cross origin, and also it will be like. So this is this is an odd function. Spectra is an odd. I mean, the phase spectrum is an odd function. Now we will talk about the that we have understood the band passing. Now, band pass signal. First of all, it is real value band pass signal, and this band pass signal we, we like to see the what is the low pass equivalent of band pass signal. Low pass equivalent of band pass signal means in a in a nutshell, we want to move this one, here, and we will discard this. This is the basic idea. That means we like to make it. Make moments. The low pass equivalent of a signal is something like that. We will do some operation where the spectrum will be something like this. And phase will be. Sorry, 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 sorry. sorry. It will be. This we want to do. Okay. Now, for that, and also that uh, due to symmetry, so this relation we know that x f equal to x plus f and x minus f. This is x. So for it, this one. This is the x f. x f is the x plus f and x minus f. No overlapping business. And I know that x minus f. Is basically x star minus f because that is why that x star is coming. So check that phase spectra. That means the magnitude spectra is an even function. That that other one is an odd function. So odd function is you have to take the star into it. Anyway, so low pass equivalent. So first of all, that is we define the analytic signal or pre-envelope signal. Of the xt, or xt is the real value band pass signal. This is the real band pass signal. Okay. Now, then, uh, <coughs> and the this analytic signal or p envelope signal is x plus t. I'm saying. Okay. And the Fourier transform for the x plus t Fourier transform is x <coughs> plus f. This signal contains only positive frequency component, and its spectrum is not Hermitian. This signal. Okay. Now, x plus t means <coughs> the Fourier inverse of x plus f, and x plus f means what I have told that it is only the positive part of the spectrum. Okay, that is x. So this is my. I just clean everything. <coughs> so basically, this is the x plus. Now, 
x plus f means x f with that you need step function in sequence. Okay, only thing is that you remember I, I am just following this capital F. Okay, now this one you can you can write it as a convolution means the Fourier inverse of the product. Fourier inverse of the product means convolution. That means convolution in time domain because the if you see that Fourier inverse of XF and UF, that means it is XF's uh, Fourier inverse convolution. This one's Fourier inverse. So XF's Fourier inverse is XT convolution. And what about the uh, Fourier inverse of you know, that unit state? Fourier inverse of unit state, if you can remember, just go back to your uh, that table given in the book. Just you check that real inverse of uh, this half of delta, or you can, you can use the duality and all these things. Finally, you will find that it is half of delta t plus j t 1 by 2 by j. Say the Fourier inverse of half of delta t. plus j of 1 by u by t. Okay. This one you have studied in 6 degrees. Okay. Now, if I take xt delta t convolution, half of xt plus j by 2, something we are writing, x hat, we are, we are putting a new notation. Okay. So that means, you are, please try to understand, that means what is x plus t? x plus t is a signal whose spectrum is only the right right part or rather positive part of your original positive part of the spectrum of the original band plus signal x t. Okay. So x plus t is the uh, whose spectrum is x plus f which is only the right hand side. And x plus t can be written as that half of x plus j by 2 x hat. Now this x hat t basically this x hat t is what? X hat t is x t, x hat t means what? X t convolution two by t. So Not zero. One by five. Right. Now, this it is called the Hilbert transform of X. That means if you take X t and if you do the on means if you send this to the convolution one by pi t, then you will get X hat. Now, this x hat is the Hilbert transform of x t. Now, this Hilbert transform of x t means this, if I, if I, if you, if you check that 1 by pi t, that if I, if you do the, part, that means if you take the, then, then in the, in the Fourier domain, what will happen? Fourier transform of x hat t is basically, if you see, that xf and 1 by pi t is Fourier transform is, we know that j sin f. Okay. So, what do you mean by j sin f? j sin f means minus, rather minus j sin f. Minus j sin f means that positive frequency sin f is plus 1. Okay. So, or rather signal function. So, at the positive frequency, signal function is plus 1. So, it is minus j, that means my, minus pi by 2 shift a shift at positive frequency component. So that means I and, and pi by 2 at the negative frequency component. So that means I have a signal xt that what what do what, what it does in the first you take the Fourier transform. On that Fourier transform after take the xf okay now with xf get 
say xf. After that, you multiply with this thing. After that, you multiply with this. That means positive frequency means it is a minus pi by two phase shift. Minus pi by two phase shift and negative frequency plus pi by two phase shift. This is it. so. And your gain is basically this is the phase spectrum and gain is now. Now you except you multiply with this block, then you will get the some sort of a Fourier of exact. So please remember that exact itself is a Hilbert transform of x. That Hilbert that if you take a Fourier of Fourier transform of the Fourier transform of the Hilbert transform of x t. Then basically you have to take first Fourier transform. Then you have to multiply with J sin f. Since J sin f with this minus J sin f is basically a phase shift in positive frequency you know, by minus pi by two and negative frequency by pi by two. Now say let us so so you understand the Hilbert transform. So Hilbert transform is nothing but convolution with one by y. Hilbert transform is nothing but a convolution with one by y. Now, if I take the Fourier transform, then it is Fourier transform of Fourier transform of Hilbert transform point. The first you take the Fourier transform, then you multiply with the block of gain one and phase. Then phase characteristic is that this this one this one for on the negative frequency plus pi by positive frequency minus pi by minus minus this one. Now, so with this understanding. That let us let us define because we are trying to talk about what was low pass equivalent of gain pass thing. Now let us now let us define that XLT is the low pass equivalent. Low pass equivalent or some or the com complex angle. Sometimes we say low pass equivalent. Sometimes we say complex angle. Why we say the low pass equivalent? I will complete of XT as the signal whose spectrum is. That means XLT is the signal whose spectrum is two into whose spectrum is given by two x plus x plus x. That is, see XLT. That is XLF. Okay, and XLF is basically I am saying that two of x plus x plus x. That means that if you Means I am I am defining the XLT that is low pass equivalent in this way. That is, whose spectrum is given by two x plus. So it, it is the definition. Please remember, this is the definition of a low pass equivalent. Okay, low pass okay, of XLT. Now, now two x plus x plus x zero means two of x x plus x zero and u. Of that unit step of x plus x that we have we know because we have we have studied that that means x plus is something means x and u so here also I am doing the same thing x and u now that means you try to understand the spectrum of x l t is located around the zero frequency and there in general it is the complex low pass signal. Now this signal is called low pass equivalent or complex angle of x. Now let us let us see that from here that what what exactly it is it is the it, it is it is giving the information. Say what about x l t x l t is the Fourier transform Fourier inverse of x l. Now x l f x l f means what? X x l f is you see that can can you say this? This one. That means uh, that if I, if I if I take that XL F now XL F is
that I told that I x l f will be two of x from here. If you take the inverse Fourier transform, that means x l f Fourier inverse of x l f. That means Fourier inverse of two x plus x plus x zero. That means Fourier inverse of two x plus t. Okay. And f plus f zero means it will be power minus j two by f f zero. It will come from from this plus f zero. It will come. Here. This is the standard formula. Now x plus t means what? X plus t means I I told you that x plus t is half of x t plus j by two x t. So I am just writing two x plus t means x t plus j x t. That x t is the Hilbert transform of this x t. Now, if I just break this into that x t say cos e to the power j two by f zero, if I just break cos two by f zero and a sine two by f zero, that x t cos two by f zero t and x t sine two by f zero t and j of this, then I can write as what about x t? That x t is in terms of from Here I can write this x t as first you take that x l t is if you take it to the power j two by f zero so this will go then if I that means x l t into it to the power j two by f zero t if I, if I so is basically x t plus j x t I am taking the real operator so j x t is gone so that means you see that your x t Is basically the low x l t. We are saying some sort of a low pass. So that means if you see the what is x l t low pass equivalent. So that means your original band pass uh, real value signal, real value see the real has come. It is the low pass equivalent into e to the power j two by f zero t. That the real component of this one. Okay. And what about x l? x f is that means from 2.1 to 2.15 that means from here what is my x f x f is if you remember that means x plus f and x star plus minus f so if you just uh, put it over here x f equal to that means from from this form that you will finally get x f equal to half of x l F minus F zero and X L star minus of F minus F zero because first you use this one X star F and X star minus F and there actually you put that actually you you, you will see that there will be a shifted by F zero term actually that actually you will you will get the shifted by F zero so now because you have you have finally got this expression from here basically we will take it. now. Then that you see that x l t x l t is basically what from the real and imaginary part of x l t are called in phase component and the part which are phase component. That means x l t is the in phase component. Is this real part is the in phase component? This one is some sort of a in phase. And this one is quadrature. Is quadrature. Okay. So x i t is basically x i t is the in phase. That is that we are writing x l t as x i t plus x q t. That means I am writing this one equal to x i t plus x q t. Now, what is my x i t? This is my x i t, and this is my x. So that that it is written over there. Okay. Now, and if you just play a little bit with it, means you take x t uh, take out. Okay. So means if you if you solve this equation, uh, it means play play with it, and you will find that if you just multiply x i cos two by f zero, x i cos two by f zero is x x t cos squared two by f zero. And that sine cos, and then you add it up. Finally, you will get that. You can even that this is my original bandpass signal, and this is the Hilbert transform 
of the land. Please remember that. Generally, when you talk about transform, it will be fine that oh, transform means it will that domain will be changed. But here in Hilbert transform, see domain will be, is not changed. That means it is in T domain. Yes, that also in T domain. Only thing is that with, it is convolution with one by pi. T. That it is that means convolution with one by pi. T. That's it. Okay, X T convolution with one by pi. T. Yes, in the frequency domain in interpretation. That means if I take the X F and so this is the time domain representation and frequency domain representation means if I just do X hat F, X hat F and X F. That is equal to minus J sigma. So that minus J sign is S number. Okay. So anything. Now so this is about X T and X hat T. That means this is your original band plus G L band plus sigma. And this is the Hilbert transform, okay, of the band bus. Now, and x i t is the that is in phase component and phase quadrature component of the low pass integral. Please try to understand. This is the in phase and quadrature phase quadrature component of the low pass integral. Uh, and what is low pass? But how the how it is related? Low pass equivalent and x t original band bus is related to low pass equivalent with Original bandpass signal is the see this is a real value signal that's why the real operator has come. X L T is the complex value signal and it is e to the power j two pi j zero t and that X L T X L T is basically it is the means if you play a little bit with it X L T is the that means if I uh, take the Fourier transform X L S that is that. In XL, XL F means your that low pass. That means X plus of F plus F zero. That means you shift it. Means you try to understand what is the low pass component. Low pass component is that X plus F plus F zero and two. That means you are basically what is the low pass component? Low pass component you have shifted it here, then multiplied by two and removing this term. That means you have You have taken this portion placed here, then into two. This is your locus point. That, uh, if you can, if you can remember, that means yes, this one, that positive component you have taken, and you have done this multiplication by two. X plus X plus F plus F zero means you have shifted to the left. Okay. Now. Now that with this x, so I have my x i t and and whatever. Now I define that envelope and phase of the original real value band bus signal. That that is is basically I am defining it because I, you see the low pass one is basically x l x i and x t. So envelope is basically I should say R of actually I should write R of X L because it is related to means R of X L the envelope of means X T or you can you can say it is R X T okay only thing is that you have to take the low pass version low pass version is the com that the actual signal is the real value band bus signal you will take this low pass version low pass version is the complex value. Then you have to take the real part and imaginary part, and the real part square plus imaginary part square. Okay, of that low pass low pass one. So you will get the envelope, and this is the phase of x t. Okay, that means x u t by x i t. Now then the low pass one you can you can you can write it as r a r x t means this one, and this is the standard polar form. Now R X T is basically now if you see X T, I can I can I can write it from what is my X T? X T was real of X L T to the J two by J zero T. So I can that I can I can put that X T real of instead of X L, I am putting R X T to the power J two by J zero T plus the X T. Okay. So so you see that only change is that I am just 
from Excel to X, I am going with e to the power j to by f0 add. That means I am just doing a frequency transmission. So finally, I can write it xt equal to from here rxt cos of because that if I take the uh, rxt, I can take out and e to the power j to by means I have to take after that cosine first portion as well. If you see, it, and this rxt is basically your slopers versions management the envelope. Now, if I if I see, let me see that see this high frequency component. This is some sort of a real value canvas signal. Okay, and this dotted line only top, not the bottom. It is the envelope. This is the envelope. Envelope means that R X T. That means square root of x i square, x i t square plus x q t square. Okay. And what is x i and x q? x i and x q is the <coughs> that we are defining x l t is basically x i t plus j of x q t. Okay. And what is x l t? x l t if I just take the Fourier transform. X L A equal to two of X of F plus F. So this is the relation. That means that from there things are coming. Okay, this representation this is quite useful. Okay, just for the time being, you just try to understand these things. So much. this is the is just basic, the same basic signals and uh, things that what I am explaining. Okay, and uh, that we generally do these things and this there are. So there are two methods uh, of representing this bandpass signal XT in terms of the locus signals. One in terms of in-phase and quadrature component, and another in another in terms of envelope and phase component. That means one in terms of that this one, that previous one. That means one in terms of the XT we are representing in this form, or either otherwise you are representing in some sort of a uh, this this in this one. Okay, either xt you are representing as an say rx cos two by u zero theta xt, or xt equal to that xi q in in that. Okay, now that now let us let us see. That means that usually the process from this this is this is important from the process of going from low pass. To band pass, that is called the modulation process or modulator process. Okay. So low pass to band pass. Okay, that means I am doing a frequency transmission to higher signal. That is that is that the system that implements this process. This is called a modulator. Okay, and the struct and similarly the the process of extracting the low pass signal from the band pass signal that is called demodulation. Low pass. Signal from the band, extracting the locus, okay, and going from, okay, that is called demodulation process. Now let us let us see modulation. Okay, what do you mean by modulation? This is first of all, xt is my real value band passing. See that way that out with output of. Here. Now how this from? So this is my modulation process. This is my modulation complex modulation. So that means I have XLT. XLT I will multiply with e to the power j by f zero t. Okay. So if you if you see that means I what I will do I will just then what will I get? That if I just I have the XLT and I will multiply with XLT with e to the power j two by f zero t. So I will get some sort of a two x plus two. That that one because if you remember that you you remember that here if you do XLT into e to the power j two by f zero t, then you will get that two x plus two. Okay, that basically we are getting two x plus two. Now on this two x plus t. If I do the real operation, that means 
then on the 2x plus 3, if I to take the real operation, what will happen? That because 2x plus t is, what is this 2x plus t? If you can remember that 2x plus t means equal to, basically 2x plus t is xt plus jx. Now, if I take the real of this one, so this is your two of x plus t. Okay, that is equal to x l t into e to the power j two pi f zero. Now, if I take the real operator, then x t will come. So that I have got. This whole process is called modulation. Now, uh, instead of that, this is the some sort of a, you know pump, we say that complex modulator or kind of thing. And if I do the real modulation, then we just that XLT, XLT I can I know that XLT I can see here also XLT here also XLT. Okay. Now what I am doing instead of real operator and all these things, I am doing XLT. I am just breaking it into in phase component, xit and what phase quadrature component, xt. Now with xit, I am just multiplying with cos 2 pi f0 t the formula that, that we, we discussed that, that this formula. Right. I am just I am just implementing this one basically, this formula. Xlt I am breaking xit and x t, then multiplying cos 2 pi f0 and sin 2 pi f0 and add or subtract. So that means multiplying with cos 2 pi f0, here minus sin 2 pi f0, and see here I am multiplying with minus sin and add it up, I will get the x. So, general, this is the this is the complex modulation in a uh, way, and this is some sort of a real, real model. So, either of this, this one, the modulation. So, similarly, if I take the demodulation one, that means demodulation one means but I will get, I will, my input is xt and output is xlt. Okay, that means I am doing a frequency down translation. Okay, this is generally done at the receiver. Okay. So, real or complex, and this one is generally done, done on transmitter. Okay, now here, that means that xt, I am doing the Hilbert transform. Hilbert transform means what I am doing? Hilbert transform means that xt convolution 1 by 5t. This is equal to xt or Hilbert transform. Okay. So now with x xt, I am just I'm just Multiplying with j, and when you multiply with j x j x hat t, and then you add with x t, then what will you get? That means two x plus t. The first expression is two x plus t. With that, if you just multiply e to the power minus j two pi f zero, that means that we already discussed, you will get that x l t. That means this is this is some sort of a demodulation. And similarly, if you, so this is a complex kind of thing. If I do the say xt and this one x hat t, and then I am breaking it into that means the x, xt and x cube. Here also I am just breaking. This is x xt cos two pi f zero xt minus sine two pi f zero means if you if you remember this this one. That means that I am just xt cos two pi f zero and x hat t sine two pi f zero. So, xt cos 2 pi f0 and this one and x hat t sin 2 pi f0. So, you are getting x i t. Similarly, here x minus sin 2 pi f0 and this one is uh, x hat cos 2 pi f0. You will get the x i t and x q t. And if I get x i t and x q t, if you just from there, you can directly repeat it. So, 
from there you can generate x l t okay which is basically x i t plus k of x so that means from x t to x n so this is called the demodification generally done in the uh, receiver okay so this is this we understand that in modulation and how to actually do it sir yes. sir how did this come uh, xl of f is equal to 2x plus f plus f0 which, which one which one section sub figure a or sub figure b which one so it's a bit up so in the previous this one no sir it's a bit up Mm -hmm. still one more picture yes sir this one yeah sir so the yeah. xl no sir one page down yes sir xl of f equal to 2 into x plus no that we have defined that i told now we define define this is my definition okay sir That's why I I I gave you stress at that point of time. We define that otherwise it is it is Lopas equivalent. See that term. It is not just Lopas Watson or something. Lopas equivalent. Okay. So otherwise you just say Lop Lopas filtered Watson of X. He has not said anything. I just said Lopas and that too also he tells. The definition of Lopas equivalent means. Basically, if you take the Fourier transform of Lopas equivalent, it is basically you have to take the positive positive frequency component, take to the origin, multiply with two. That I I explained. I mean, that means you have to take it here, make it like this, then multiply with two. That means like this. Okay. Or not. This one, like, like. if your band is fixed, it should be like. That. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, so that means, so, and I see this is the high frequency portion, and the gain envelope is the only top one. If you just add the peaks, and it will come like. Okay. Now this is my modulator block and this is my demodulator block. Now let us see the energy consideration. Okay, now energy of a signal is what the minus infinity plus infinity. The x t is a say complex, general complex value of signal. We take mod of x t square. Now, now I know that energy in time domain and frequency domain they are same. So it is a. So if I take the this is the Parseval relation or Rayleigh relation, whatever people say, it is like this. F is in hertz, and I have it as in x f x plus f and x minus f they are non-overlap. So x plus f into x minus f that is zero. That we know. Now so I can I can break this this x f equal to x plus f and x minus f whole square, and I can I can just because there's a separable relations. Now with this I can write. That can I can I write this just two into x plus f whole mod 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 of this whole square? Can I write this? Because what is x minus f? X minus is is the x star plus f because. X of minus f equal to x of plus f star that we have we have seen, okay? Because then I can I can write it so mod of x minus f square if I take then this star will go up one and to take the square so I can write so that means. The point is that energy is the that individual one, individual spectrum's energies 
to unset is unsetting. And that's quite natural if you to see that means as this is so energy of this one, energy of this one means mod of x or mod of x. This is, this is the mod, the farm line is the mod x set. You have to take the square in it. And this one, this, that area means not this area. If I, if I take this is my mod square. Line. If I take this is my mod square, then these areas are equal. This one. So, So, Ex is equal to 2 of the only positive local energy. And similarly, I can, I can say that, that the energy Ex and Exl, Ex is half of Exl. Why? Ex, if you see, that is, I have defined Xl, low pass equivalent, there is a term where actually I have taken a 2 business. Okay, 2 of x plus. But x plus is half. So now with this, if you play a little bit with these equations, you will find that x is that 2 into x plus. Now 2 into x lf by 2. Now can you write x plus f to x lf by 2? This one. Let's check this one. Right? Whether you can write it or not. Okay. Now 2 by 1 fourth. Because 2 coming out by so that is half of E of XL, the low pass version's energy. Okay, that means low pass equivalent signal is the 2 is the energy that the, the energy in the low pass equivalent EXL is 2 into EX. The low pass, so that means that this low pass signal, this low pass envelope, this is the LP envelope, that this signal. This one has the double the energy, content double the energy of this original signal, x to our original type. This is this is one, this is important. Okay. Now So now we will use little bit of this vector space notations. Okay, that we have already started. The inner product of two signals. You know that inner product of two vector. Do you know these things? Inner product of two vector. Have you studied in linear algebra? Yes, sir. We studied. Yes. So we will, we will use the equivalent notation that that is on a finite dimensional vector space you have studied, but we will do on an infinite dimension vector space, okay, because xt is a continuous time signal kind. Okay, so we are just, or, or maybe in mathematics we have already studied these things. So that is here we are trying to define these things in signal space. That is if I take the inner product, means I am defining inner product of two signals, means it is like the xt comma y. And I am defining minus infinity plus infinity xt y star t, t, which is equivalent to minus infinity xf y star f d. Okay. Now we have used the partial relations. What is my energy? Energy is basically, do you remember that? What is my energy? Integral of minus infinity plus infinity mod of x, mod of xt is also the mod of xt also can be xt x star t. That means inner product of xt and xt. Okay. Now that if I if I take the, the inner product of two signals, okay, these two are band pass signal with this low pass equivalent is xl and yl. Now this this low pass equivalent they are the com complex value signal. If I take the inner product of two complex value signal and take the real operator and do half, then that will be some kind of original inner product. And we are given that cross correlation coefficient we know that rho of x, y between two vector x and y. But here you can define this rho x, y in terms of this x, t and y on a continuous time functions. Okay, that means inner product 
divided by square root of energy of x and energy of y. This is the standard. This is the standard means just we are just replicating the vector space uh, notion to here. Okay. So this is basically we talk about the sometimes we say that this is a normalized cross correlation. Sometimes we say this is cross correlation and some sort of a normalized linear product. And that as we know that e x n equal to two e x. That means from here we can little bit we can we can we can play with this one two x y equal to. And if you take the locus equivalent and signals and their row. Then you will find that there is a real operator is coming into, and two signals are orthogonal if their inner product is zero. That means that we say that this x and y two band per signal that they are orthogonal. Okay. That means when this is zero. Okay. That means that the this is zero means when the inner product is zero. That means x t y t their inner product is zero. So. And also, please remember that means orthogonality in the base band. That means orthogonality in the base band means if rho x l y l is zero, then then actually rho x l y l is generally a complex number. Okay, but if it is a complex zero, that means zero plus j zero, then real of zero is zero. So that means orthogonality in the base band implies orthogonality in the pass band, but not vice versa. Okay. See, if rho x y may be zero, but that does not mean rho x l y is zero because that may be zero plus j zero point eight. Okay. So that is orthogonality in base base band function. Base band implies orthogonality in pass band, but not vice versa. We'll explain that orthogonality in base band means what? And I will take the example. Then it will be clear too. Okay. So this is and the so please please read these things a little bit and uh, we will we'll, we'll, we'll cover this this chapter so that so that later it will be useful for us. Okay, thank you, thank you very much.